So back on the workbench is the Creighton 8S. Okay, so previously uh, I did an unboxing of this Spectrum Bluetooth module for the DX3 that came with my Creighton 8S. Um, I got to the point where it was all set up, it was installed, it had power and it was ready to go and I was all set to bind it to the app on my phone and I couldn't find the app on the App Store. Turns out Spectrum had removed the app. I guess it was causing issues or glitches and problems. So it's back and I've downloaded it and it's on my phone. So today we are going to reinsert this chip into the transmitter, I'll bind it to my phone and check out all the data and telemetry and all the crazy stuff that it gives you and see what this Spectrum dashboard app is all about. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we have to do is actually install. So if you look in the radio, it comes apart uh, very simply like that. You'll see there's these uh, little holes here. So all you need to do is take this chip and insert it very gently into place. That's it. It's in. It's that simple. Then you turn this guy on and that will start lighting up. Now, I believe it is as simple as going to your phone where you have previously downloaded the Spectrum Dashboard app, which I have done. You go to the Spectrum Dashboard app and there it is. So that is what the app looks like when it's not bound. So I am going to press the bind button. And nothing is happening. Let's see if I need a. Uh... All right, now it is in bind mode and it is blinking quite fast. So, Spectrum dashboard would like to use Bluetooth. I hit OK. It's looking for it. You can see. Nothing is happening, okay? Oh, it was there. I just needed to hit the button. So I hit pair. Update firmware, sure. It is now updating to firmware version 1.6. You'll see this is now blinking red. So that's pretty cool. It seems to be doing something. The light on the Bluetooth module is no longer blinking now that it's uh, paired. And, okay, uh, sync data from transmitter. I don't know what that does. Okay, so there's our dashboard. It looks like it's gonna show us temperature, voltage, speed, RPM. It looks like there's a, a status. So it looks like maybe that has something to do with the, um, the trims and where they're set. There's settings on the app, setting, telemetry setup, upper limit, okay. It's showing you all the different settings that you have. This is pretty cool. Um, model number one, new driver. It doesn't seem to let me uh, do anything else. I was trying to rename the, uh, the name of the car, but it's not letting me. So, okay. So let's put some batteries in our um, Creighton and see what happens. Okay, so that's all connected. Let's turn this guy on. Okay, so it's definitely connected. We see our um, Battery lights there. We can see on the dashboard here, it tells me speed, current. Okay, it tells me how much power there is in the batteries. That's pretty cool. All right. So I believe you take this now, right? This goes right on. 
here like that. We can then put our phone here. And if you look, you've got your, your dashboard for when you're driving. Very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. You can see as you So I assume it's getting the telemetry data from the ESC, putting it to the transmitter, and then as long as your transmitter is connected via Bluetooth to the dashboard app, you're getting your information. So very, very, very cool. So I think we're going to take this outside, drive it around, and see what it's like. So we are back inside. That was pretty awesome. Truck is running great. Let's shut this guy off. So it works really, really well. I mean, you've got your dashboard here. It shows you your top speed and your miles an hour. I don't know if that's accurate. Probably not. I'll have to do a test with the GPS. It tells you what our temperature was, you know, what the RPMs were, the voltage of the drive pack. I don't know if that's in this or that's my, my batteries that are in the, uh, in the car itself, but as you can see, my battery level went down to one, so I'm not sure what that's relating to. I think that's the transmitter batteries, I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, it looks like you can also update where you know things are with the steering. So look, let's look here. So if I have the steering trim, if I start to change the steering trim, I'm not seeing anything moving, so I guess that has no bearing on it. So I Anyway, um, that's what it shows you. So, it is cool. It was like 15 bucks for the Bluetooth module. Is it worth it? Sure, for $15 it's cool. Could I live without this stuff? Yeah, probably. I'm probably not using it to its fullest. So let me know in the comments if there's stuff that I'm missing, if there's better stuff you can do with it. I I'm not sure. I like it. It's a neat little thing. It's kind of cool to have my phone there. You know, if I start filming, it'll let me film as well. The mount is pretty cool. They were separate. I think the mount was like 10 bucks and the like I said, the Bluetooth module was $15. So totally worth the, the inexpensive investment if you want some telemetry data and stuff like that on your thing. But it is not anything earth-shaking or really life-changing. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. Um, please, if you like these videos, please like them and subscribe. This way my wife will keep letting me buy cool stuff like this Bluetooth transmitter and things like that and, you know, not divorce me. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.